At Aramis, the team had recovered 34 separate pieces of Artie's skull, including her jaws and teeth. But many parts were never found. In Tokyo, Suwa will reconstruct the Artie skull using CT scans, filling in missing parts digitally. In Berkeley, California, White will also rebuild the Artie skull, but to make his version, he'll use plaster casts of the fossils. Working this way, they're able to cross-check their results independently. Suwa scans the cranial fragments, then he uses the CT slices to properly restore each bone. Front teeth are added, and the face of Artipithecus begins to emerge. The digital reconstruction process would take years. Finally, a composite CD assembly is output from a computer as a 3D plastic version called a stereolith. Sua sends it to Tim White in Berkeley. So this restoration was accomplished digitally in Tokyo. This restoration was accomplished physically here in Berkeley. When we compare these two independent reconstructions, we're seeing effectively the same face. The scientists have now reassembled the face of this enigmatic creature, seen for the first time in 4.4 million years.